everyone. It is Susie, and I hope everybody is doing well. I want to say a Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, I know this week is Christmas week, and I have been really busy, as I'm sure you, you all have too, trying to finish last-minute things. I want to apologize right off. I'm not going to be able to do the um, recipe tag uh, flip book tutorial. I've just run out of time and it's uh, we actually had to uh, because uh, This coming week is going to be a short week because of Christmas uh, Where I work we actually had to add an extra 10 hour day on my week um, This last week, so it's, it's just not going to happen um, I, I will do a tutorial sometime, but it just won't be in time for Christmas um so, with that said, I, you know, I, I apologize for that. But, I hope everybody has a great Christmas, number one. And I had, these will actually be the last uh, Christmas journals I do, since we're so close now. And, uh, these I wanted to finish up. They were so much fun. They are chunky monkeys, uh, for sure. And, uh, these are the books, or the blank journals and I've got, um, I've got one right here. Now, I said I'm going to be sharing with you where I picked these up at. They're just blank journals. Uh, they are tied with twine. Um, these come from Wendy over at the Hopeful Bird. And I ordered some that I wanted. Uh, she stamps on these. This is normally what comes on here. Uh, this is uh, Hope is an Anchor for the Soul, and she has stap stamped that on some of this grunge. Um, uh, it feels like cotton or something. I don't think it's muslin, but uh, tie. And uh, so I ordered a few extra uh, a little while back, and I just had her leave the ties blank. I didn't want anything stamped on them because I was going to be using them um, just as a base. And she does put all kinds of little things um, inside these, uh, but I asked just to keep them out because, like I said, because I was going to use them for the base of the journal, I just really wanted the, the, the blank uh, basic journal. But uh, anyway, guys, this is the Hopeful Bird, is what she is called on Etsy. And she has got some of the cutest um, uh, things over there. So, I, you know, I just want to let you know where I picked these up at. Now, I can tell you she does not combine shipping. Uh, stuff gets sent out priority instead of first class. And so shipping is going to cost you uh, to get something shipped from there. But um, now I have not... I say she doesn't uh, uh, refund shipping overages, uh, but I, and maybe she does, and I just did not see the refund. I did not get a notification of a refund. But as far as I can tell, uh, she's not going to refund shipping overages, and she does send out by priority mail. Whether you order one journal or you order 50, uh, they're going to go by um, priority and it, it's a little costly. So, uh, with that said, I just want you to uh, know that. But I love the grunge. That is the basis of the journal that I have been using. And uh, that is what the basis of these journals are. So, I uh, want to untie this. This is the kit from Leanna Scraps, I want to say. I'm going to put the link in the description box. And uh, this is what I had made my swap partner um, is out of this kit. And a lot of you wanted to know on that video where I picked uh, pick this digital up at. And so I'm going to put that uh, link in the description box as well as um, the hopeful bird in case you want to check her out. But uh, here is... And now, I do want to share this though. I do have some of this in the... Uh, shop and so this is just a Merry Christmas ribbon I actually did pick this up at Hobby Lobby and it was a little expensive uh, even with the coupon it was still a little expensive so what I did was I bought some and I have um, got it in the shop of course I have coffee stained this but um, I do have it in the shop you can buy a yard of it 
and that way if you don't want to spend you know it's even with the cube I think it was 15 something um, at uh, Hobby Lobby and so I thought well if you wanted some I would put it in the shop uh, and just cut it down into yards so uh, a yard cut so anyway that's that is what that is and so anyway let's get into the journal I these two are basically um, kind of alike other than I have switched the um, covers now there's a few variances but for the most part they are the same and so I uh, do have um, a pocket I've just made with um, uh, with some of the uh, actually some of the pages that came out of the book because I had to actually tear some of the pages out uh, of the book in order to keep it not so chunky and so I use some of those pages for my pockets and different things because this is a mixture of paper you'll have like copy paper and then you might have like a cardstock a cardstock um, paper you know so it just they just vary through there and so this is the cardstock and then I have just uh, took and this is just a little booklet for writing I picked up some vintage brads not too long ago and so I'm using those and anyway I've just made a little where you could uh, you can actually take it out if you want to write but it's just a little um, you know a little journaling paper there and then it's gonna of course I did use a lot of the Tim Holtz uh, rub-on Christmas rub-ons I used them in the black and the white this here I've got have yourself a merry little Christmas I've actually used some uh, like a uh, craft deli sheet there to back that in and it's probably hard to see in the camera I don't know if it would really pick it up but here is just a old one of the vintage photos I've used and I put holiday wishes on it and I actually stapled it so you could write underneath it and kind of cover it over just some of the the uh, kit pages there I've just cut them down and then I've just added them to the to the page here use some of the little vintage tape this here is an envelope that's just been uh, coffee dyed I did add Mrs. Cog's crafts um, her uh, oh what do they call it the words and phrases and then here is just a little booklet for you know for writing so and I've just got it slipping in the envelope I've added joy to the world and I did even added some of the little um, the little um, like little you know star lights there on it and then here is another this is just another little um, flip book with the with the vintage brad in it I've just done a little sewing added you know the Tim Holtz labels there for Christmas and just a nice little um, journaling book I like to make the journaling books that way you have plenty of uh, journaling space this is just a little piece of can uh, uh, muslin fabric kind of there another just a little photo old photo these are just you know copies of old photos and I've just added added the pa uh, uh, pa uh, Patricia Veramonti's um, little um, uh, stain on it there's just a time card that's been a little collaged and here is the center of the signature and I just added another I love this uh, digital here with the little fireplace and the stockings hanging down I love that here I've just added an envelope that has a little journal inside it, a little journaling uh, paper inside it and I did collage the envelope love that and 
Whoops, that's the back side. Here is the front. Of course, Tim Holtz rub ons. Hello, December. Believe in the magic. Um, added the little photo there. Got a little collage going on there. Just just for journaling. Another little photo there. And then I've got Let It Snow on the back. One of the cute images from the kit. And I'll put that, put that together after a while. And then here is another uh, little flip up for you to kind of write or whatever you want to do underneath it. I have Jingle All the Way on this one that I put on with the little rub-ons. Another little flip book. And another little uh, pocket. This here is just like a little um, a little uh, journaling book. Kind of like a trifold here. I've just... Uh, and I, I did put this on here to kind of keep it together, just to, so it wouldn't be opening up. That's why I have that on there. I, don't, I can't remember where I put that. I must have put it on the side. Yeah. Anyway, just so that it won't open up when you're trying to... Another one of the pretty, pretty images. And here is another um, envelope. Another little um, vintage photo. This one here, I've got a little uh, couple of pieces of just... Uh, here's an old photo and here's a little uh, printout. Oh, no, this isn't a printout. This actually came out of one of the Your Creative Studio uh, uh, boxes. This little... Uh, piece there. And then here's one of these little owl. They're called owl clips. I'm going to have some of those in the shop. Now I did rest these myself. Uh, they won't be rested but I will have some of them in the shop just shortly if I don't. If I don't already uh, you know by the time I get this video posted uh, I will uh, I will just you know shortly shortly after. These are just some, these here I just picked up here at the, at, uh, uh, while we was out thrifting, uh, not too long ago. And then, uh, I, uh, whoops, that is not going in there. There we go. And, uh, the others I actually purchased, uh, off the internet, so that I will have in the shop. I just thought they were so cute, I wanted to be sure and try to get some to uh, add in the shop. So, here's another fun little uh, image. And then I've got the same image here on this. And this is just a little journaling. Uh, I know I keep getting out of frame. This is just another little journaling paper there. Added another little vintage photo there and then here is another little journaling paper I tried to just kind of add the same as I did in the in the front and this is just more journaling journaling paper here for you so anyway there is um, that one and uh, this here I probably will um, uh, just have listed as um, um, uh, probably Christmas, I don't know, Cafe Christmas or something, uh, Grunge Journal. And then here is this one. And like I said, it is basically the same. Um, all of these are the same. I've just added, you know added the same paper in it as I did um, the other. 
And then here, because I had this on the cover, this is on the inside of this one. And I've got Making Spirits Bright. So I'm not going to really open these because they are basically the same, you know, as the other. Here is another, the flip there. That's just stapled on. Uh, same way with my booklets. These here are basically the same as in the last one. This one I've got December 25th. I may have used a different um, little Tim Holtz rub on, but uh, they're pretty much put together the same. I love these images. Here is the little I don't believe in magic. And same way here, there's just the tag. And this is pretty much the same as in the other. Now this here is uh, will be uh, listed as Dear Santa because of the envelope. And uh, I have really done the inside same, uh, the same as the other except for the collage. It has a different picture on the collage because I didn't have two of the same pictures and I and I uh, didn't print off anymore um, to make it the same. Those are the same, but this one is a little different here. I've just used a different uh, little image and this one has Mary and Bride on it. And I think this is a little different than the other one. But the book is basically, basically the same. Now, yeah, we'll put that together. And then here is just an old uh, vintage photo. And uh, same way here. I've basically done these all a little bit the same. And then here is... Um, the little trifold booklet here. So, see, I think I'll, yeah, I'll have to put it up on top. Okay, that's that little fabric uh, pocket there. Here's the other little, uh, little flip out uh, photo there. And here is just another envelope with the uh, with a little booklet. I believe I, I made this the same as the other, so it will have the little uh, the little uh, song. This has a little reindeer on it, so it's just your little your little booklet there. Inside, basically the same. I use some vintage. Um, onion skin paper in that. I love the grunginess of this um, journal. That's why I ordered these bases here because I just loved uh, the grunge paper. And then here is the collage, time card collage. Those time cards are in the shop. Of course, the back sides of them are red. Um, here is another one of the little slip with the little brads there. So there are these two little Christmas journals. And like I said, this will be the end of the Christmas journals till next year. Um, not sure where my next project will be going. I'm hoping, oh, uh, uh, Rhonda without an H, Rhonda Winstead, um, and I are going to do like a little collab, uh, starting, uh, in January. Uh, should be once a month video. We're actually, well, I'll just save it. We, we've got a little 
uh, collab going on. And uh, anyway, that will be fun. It'll be something different for me. It's something I haven't done before. So uh, the project. And so that will be coming in January. I was going to get, I was getting ready to say I don't know what my next project will be, but, but I am going to be working on that little surprise. And then um, I'm hoping to get the new Somerset Studio project in. Uh, I had trouble getting my magazine in. It was about a month late. Didn't think I was going to get it, so I ended up, get, I went ahead and bought one uh, about three weeks in. I went ahead and bought one at the store, and then about a week or, or maybe it was a little over a month, uh, I got the other one a couple of weeks later, and it was damaged. Uh, so I didn't, I just didn't think I was going to get my magazine at all. I figured it had got put in somebody else's box or, you know. So I'm hoping to get... A Somerset project done and hopefully then start working on maybe a winter winter journal that because I haven't really done a winter journal I've really just been playing with the Christmas so I uh, hope to get a winter journal done and uh, anyway that'll be fun okay now for the Etsy tip the it's kind of like more info than it really would be a tip today but um, it's really the USPS versus Etsy shipping. Now, when I did ship, before I did use Etsy shipping, I would always ship through the post office. When you ship through the post office, the cost to ship is higher than Etsy charges for shipping. Plus... When you ship to the post office, you can, you know your package can only be 13 ounces, well under 13 ounces. Once it hits 13 ounces, ounces, you have to go into priority shipping. So for anything under 13 ounces, you can ship first class, but once you hit 13 ounces and anything over that, you're into priority. Etsy goes up to 16 ounces, one pound. Anything that weighs under one pound goes first class. Anything over 16 ounces, one pound and over, you have to ship priority. So you're getting an extra three ounces to ship first class in when you ship through Etsy. And uh, it'd be cheaper for your customers. So... That is just something I wanted to kind of give you a little info on. Etsy charges you less than the post office to ship. I think the cheapest I can ship first class, anything from one to four ounces, depending on where you live, uh, I think the cheapest is 350 350 or 375 now. Where Etsy is still about 270 280 so, quite a bit of difference. Now, Etsy has started charging a shipping fee, which is not a whole lot. Uh, last, you know, I looked at it. Um, but still, it comes out cheaper. comes out a little cheaper than, um, than shipping it through the post office. So, and like I said, you might check other places. I know, like I said, I know PayPal is cheaper than the post office if you ship through the post office. Uh, and there's so many, you know, there's... Uh, what is it? Click and ship uh, that I see a lot of people use. D just tons of uh, shipping places, but I, I just normally stay with Etsy. It's right there when I'm when I'm shipping out, and it's just easier for me to use Etsy. But but just a little info there that your shipping is going to be cheaper through Etsy, and you you get actually get three ounces more in the first class category to ship your things in before you have to move it into priority. So just just something to think about if you're going to open a uh, Etsy shop um, or if you already have an Etsy shop and you are still using the post office as your uh, shipping preference. So you will get it cheaper if you find you a shipping um, uh, outlet online or using Etsy. So 
that's just a quick uh, quick little tip for you guys have a great Christmas and um, you know guys just enjoy your holiday and uh, I will catch you in the next video thanks so much for watching